I'm Michael Legedlin with FiddlerShop.com and this is the Glasser Carbon Composite Acoustic and Electric Violin. Let's start with Carbon Composite. This thing is basically a tank. It's weatherproof. It's designed to take a beating and not have any of the cracks or open seams like you would normally get with a wooden instrument. And as the name suggests, it is designed to be played acoustically or plugged in electrically. And it does come in four string and five string options, but I have the four string option to show you today. All the Glasser acoustic electric instruments, whether it's four string or five string, come with a unique uh, chin rest that has the quarter inch jack, the preamp, and not one but two EQ knobs built right into the chin rest. The tailpiece is a carbon composite as well with a volume knob along with four fine tuners and that's connected by a wire to the actual pickup which is drilled into the bridge. All the instruments also come with the Perfection planetary pegs which are geared pegs and also Larson strings. So as I mentioned before, the knob on the tailpiece is the volume control. So there's quite a lot of EQ control right here at your fingertips. The larger knob controls more of the bass, the lower end stuff, and the littler knob controls more of the treble. I'll play them in all the different positions so you can kind of hear the different tones that you can generate. Um, for me, I personally like um, them at opposite ends. Um, the lower end, I'll start with. So that's with like all the bass all the way up. If I turn the big knob, then all the way to the other end. It's really cut the bass down, which you might need to do if you're getting like some feedback or it's just like a little bit too boomy. Some people think that that sound sounds like it's too much underwater. But I sort of like that sort of, um, it's a little bit darker, a little bit fuller sound. This is the bass. Okay, and then the little knob, it controls more of the treble. Right now, where I just had it, is more of that sort of rounder, a little bit a more distant sound. When I turn it all the way to the other extreme, the, the upper notes of the E string has gotten a lot brighter and it's gotten a little bit more edgy of a sound. And so there's lots of uh, variations, lots of things to play with to find the sound that is right, that you like all the time, but you might need to adjust it you know, for certain situations. configuration is a little bit of a letdown. First of all, it requires a Phillips screwdriver to remove this plate. I've already got it unscrewed for you to see. And then once you get that off, it takes two AAA batteries. And so that's adding a lot of weight to this uh, chin rest already, but also a little bit annoying if your preamp dies in the middle of a set, you have to make sure you have a screwdriver and uh, AAA batteries on hand. Uh, to get up and running again. The violin does still sound good acoustically, but all this weight on the chin rest does take its toll. Here I'll show you the comparison between this violin and the Glasser violin that is only acoustic. <laughs> So 
there is quite a significant difference in sound if you're playing it just acoustically. You don't really have to worry about it if you're playing it mostly plugged in because it really shines when it's plugged in. And I think having the acoustic body really helps give that resonance and that depth and warmth of a sound than if it was just a electric violin. The other big appeal is that it's a very affordable option to get a carbon fiber instrument if you're looking for that durability and resiliency. I also have another video about the outfit that comes with it if you want to get just the instrument or if you want to get an outfit I'll explain what comes in the outfit. So if you're interested in picking up the Glasser Carbon Composite Acoustic Electric Violin just head on over to fiddlershop.com. Thanks for watching.